it's good day here i am again so this time i will be teaching you how to make photo collage using photoshop cs5 so as you see as you can see i have already opened my adobe photoshop cs5 so first thing to do of course is to uh set our background layer so i click file then new that means we have a new layer new background so it will give us the setting plan or the size of the the layer that you want to make so i have here 11 as the width and the height so it's up to you you will change the size of of your of your background so i just choose those numbers so let us click okay okay i have it there so if you want to add a color i think you can uh, duplicate this layer so just right click this area here and then duplicate layer and from there you can now uh, click in the upper uh, area layer and just click new fill layer solid color okay and then let us set to what color we want to have uh, let us have this one sky color okay that that's it so we have sky color so let us have the the changes later on it depends on on the the style that you want to have if you want to make some some uh, border designs later on we can add after we uh, paste several photos okay so next thing to do is to add now photos so we will just add photos one by one so again click file and open and then select the photos that we are going to add so i will be selecting uh photos landscape photos okay let us choose this one okay to transfer this photo to our background and decide it so let us click this area here and choose to up in order for us to see the two the two the background and the picture so to transfer this picture to our background layer just click the picture and this uh this uh what do you call this one this area here a select icon and then left click and drag to the right and it will be transferred already to our uh, background layer okay you can close this now and to resize our photo since it's very a uh, large photo uh, we can uh, edit and we transform the photo to a smaller size okay so i just click it there and so i found the the side of it so i can easily resize the photo okay that's it so it's up to you also to design how big is your photo okay let us have that one as the center so it's up to you if you will change the size okay i think it's better to have it there okay then just click check okay then you can add some more photos again file then open and then choose again what photo are you going to add i think that's better if you have this one okay the same as what we did a while ago so we'll also try to transfer this photo to our background layer again click this one two up and the two will be shown 
to transfer also this uh, this icon again then click let's click and drag to our background layer and then close this one so we can adjust our uh, photo so to adjust again edit then to transform okay then find the corner so you can easily resize the photo so i usually find the corner so it's easy for me to resize okay so that's it oh okay, i'm going to put this one you can also do some style you can reposition this one uh, if you will if we will move the cursor like that so that means you can turn the photo in a different uh position just like that or you can have that one if you want to okay so if you want that one you can also right if you want it to have a life size okay. then again click ok you can just have at least five photos or you can complete all sub to you so i will just have mga at least five photos as an example and then again add, add some more photos open choose again what photos are you going to add okay this one again Oh, we want landscape. Okay, then to transfer the same process is what we did. Click the photo and left click transfer. Okay, then close this one and decide again our photo by clicking edit. Transform. So then, side. Then, arrow downward. Then, arrow downward. And then, precisely to the desired size. Okay, it becomes smaller in size. So let us see, we want it to place here. Now what, now what style? Let us have another design. Like that. Oh, too much. Okay. We can decide it again. So we can change the button later on because as you can see, uh, it's just the same in color with our photos. So let us have to do it afterwards. Then let us have two more photos. So we have your file. Uh, open again. Find some more interesting photos. So finding my photos. I think I can have here. Okay. Okay, so it's a different. Um, design. Because it's already portrait style. So again, thanks for this photo here. Let's this one again. Okay, the size we did can speed transform. And find the 
corner so we can easily change the size of the and use the small size. At this time, I wouldn't feel how to dispose Okay, I want to take this. Okay, so what size what are we going to do with this photo? Let us have a um, lot design. And um, we will use it again like that. And um, what other you want? Okay, then one more. To complete our collage. Okay. Then let's play this also. Okay, and transfer. And I don't like that whole the So this is a sample. It's up for you to choose what you want. So again, resize this. We transform and find the resize. Resize. Okay. Yeah. I think it's not good if we will have the same appearance yeah, that we have there. It's up to you what the style or what arrangement we will have. Okay, you can just there. This one, let us try to go back to this one so it will look like this. Go back to layer number four. This one, one. Okay. So let me put my phone. I'm not sure. Okay. 
And we can also put this center as the as our topmost. So how are we going to do that? So this, this one will be our topmost and transfer that to our first layer, our last layer. Yeah. Okay. Drag. Okay. Drag. Okay. And now dragging. Okay. Drag there. Okay. So one more. Drag to the top. Down to the top. Okay. Down to the top. Okay. Okay. So not a man. So as long as you have four. You can have this below. So this one will be shown. Okay, so that's it. Now, if you want to change the color of the background, because as you can see, we just have the same color with our photos. So I think we can change the color by Delete my command here. And option. Let us add our pattern overlay or color overlay. What color you want to use? So it depends on you. You can have the white color if you want, or like that, or black, or whatever color you want. The you can change the opacity like that. Okay. You can have that one, and uh, you can add some more. Let us try some more designs. 